Hi, my name is Trey Ford, Global Security Strategist with Rapid7. This week's Whiteboard Wednesday, we're continuing our series where we're talking about the Veris classification system. This week we'll be focused on threat actors. For those that are just joining our series or this is the first video you've watched, um, let's talk real quick about what Veris is. Veris is the vocabulary for event recording and information sharing. This is literally the data structure, uh, the database schema that you would use to define and describe events, incidents, or breaches that you've worked in your environment. Um, this is good for two very different purposes, very complementary purposes. One is building an in-house database, understanding what sorts of incidents you've handled, what you've investigated, and if you wanted to contribute to something like the DBIR, that annual report, the data breach investigation report, this is the exact database schema that they do all the research on. So if you wanted to be a part of that, this is where you'd jump in. So threat actors is what we're talking about this week. Um, the cornerstone of uh, Veris is what they call A4. Um, it's four A's. There's actors, there's actions, there's assets, and there are attributes. We're focused on actors this week. So let's talk about what a threat actor is. A threat actor is an entity that causes or contributes to an incident or an event. Um, these entities could be malicious or not. They could be intentional or accidental. Uh, they could be causal or contributors. Um, Veris breaks these groupings down into three primary categories. There's internal, there's external, and there are partners. That's how you would define an actor. So depending on what type of actor we're talking about, there's additional attributes that will apply. So the uh, two that apply to all three categories is motive. Uh, motive is easily described as you know, classic attacker motives, uh, espionage, financial gain, fun or amusement. Uh, there may be a grudge or an ideology, um, or you may not even know what the um, motive is. Um, we'll describe why an unknown would fit. Notes. Uh, notes, again, is a data field that applies to all three. This is additional important information that the handler felt necessary to help round out or fill in the quantitative data points or attributes to help describe more information on what they thought or saw with the actor. For internal and external um, threat actors, uh, the variety, it's important to define what kind of variety of threat actor this was. So the variety could vary. Um, this could be an activist. This could be an auditor. This could be a former employer. This could be a competitor. Uh, this could also be force majeure. So that's interesting, um, whether that's an act of nature, an act of God, or um, you know, complete circumstance. The bottom line is the motive of nature is unknown, right? So that seems to kind of follow. So then uh, we jump into origin. Origin, if they're an employee, an internal resource, we know where they're coming from. If they're external, we want to understand where they're coming from. So the origin is ISO 3166. It's a country definition code. Pretty strict, clean way to extract information back from the database. Again, attribution's hard. We're not rolling the attribution dice and saying, oh, it was country X. This is, if you've got confidence in the origin, cool. If you don't, that's OK, too. Finally, industry. So this applies strictly to partners. Uh, if you're partnered, if your company or organization's partnered with someone, they're going to have a specific type of access. We want to understand what service they provided to the company we're documenting this event for. Um, my name's Trey Ford, Global Security Strategist. We'll talk to you next week.